Welcome back. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you some more about using Krita for making textures in video games. So in the first video, which I recommend you check out if you missed it, uh, I go over the getting Krita and the basic um, interface and some of the uh, tool tips and things like that. Um, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you um, how to work with some of the brush presets a little bit better um, and an introduction to Krita's layer system. So uh, over here on the bottom right hand corner you're going to see that there are two tabs layers and brush presets. So if you click on brush presets there's a little pop-up menu here that shows all different kinds of categories of brushes and one of those categories is of course all. So you can go ahead and see this and you can see that I can scroll up and down and there's a whole lot to do. Um, if you don't like the way that this is being shown with all these thumbnails and you sort of have to just look and guess, remember that you can leave your mouse pointer over um, a thumbnail and it will tell you what the brush is. And of course, you can go ahead and, and try it. Um, there we go. Um, you can also, in the top right-hand corner, click on this little uh, button here and choose, instead of thumbnails, you can choose details. And now you see less. Uh, so you have to scroll more, but now you actually get to see the names and you don't have to hover over it. So that might be a little easier on your eyes. Um, the last thing that you can do is if you start to actually remember uh, what kind of brush you might be looking for, down here at the bottom you'll see a little search box here. It says enter resource filters here. Um, it'd be nice if it just said the word search, but anyway, you can uh, type in there whatever you want. So if I want to type in airbrush, and I type in air. Uh, now I went ahead and found every brush that has the word air in it. So if I want to go ahead and choose, say, this one here, make it a little smaller, I can go ahead and now I've got my classic airbrush. So that search is uh, pretty basic, but it's, um, it's helped me out certainly a lot uh, from time to time, especially when you're brand new to quit up. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab a brush. This one works just fine. Okay, so we're going to talk about layers now. So click on your Layers tab, and Krita by default uh, starts off with two layers. Uh, the very first layer, um, I'm going to go ahead and rename it by double tapping or double left clicking, and I'm just going to go ahead and call this BG for background. So for most of our video games, um, if you're doing a background, like you're doing um, you know, trees and hills and things like that, then you might want to go ahead and actually draw on the background. But I highly recommend that you never, ever, ever draw on this background. Most of the time when you're doing textures for video games, you're going to actually end up hiding that background layer and you're going to see this checkerboard here. And then when you draw on this, uh, when you draw on this second layer here, now you get a nice transparent um, image going through here and that way then in Blender or in Stencil, our two game engines, uh, you of course can go ahead and have a transparent uh, texture. So maybe you have like a little character um, and of course then the character would, would, would basically uh, be their own custom shape. So that could be one there. Okay, so in general, name your very first layer BG or background and then don't actually ever draw on it. Okay, so I have a new layer here. I can go ahead and I can, again, double click to rename it. So I can call this character or whatever I want. Um, I can go ahead and call this uh, head. And this could be the layer just for the head. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my category brushes to ink brush. That way I only have to deal with three. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this ink brush. I'm going to go back to layers. Okay, so. Now what I could do is I've got a layer for the head, so if I just go ahead and draw a real simple little little character head here, nothing too complex. Again, I could press E, and now my brush is in erase mode, and I can go ahead and erase this little construction line right here. Okay, so that is, uh, that is the head there. Um, and I'll just go ahead and do something like this so you can see a little bit better. There we go. If I want to make a new layer, um, all I do is I come down here and I tap or click on that little plus button right there and that makes a new layer there. So now I might go ahead and call this um, body. 
and then I can go ahead and I can draw the character's body. Something real simple there. Okay. Okay, now um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add one more layer, and this is going to be uh, the character's arm, his first arm. Um, and maybe we'll go ahead and we'll put this like right here. Okay, so there's the arm. So let's talk about some of the basics of working with layers, so moving things around and adjusting size and all that kind of good stuff. So here's the arm layer. I have the arm layer selected, and I'm going to come over here on the left-hand side, and the two tools I want to show you are right here. The first one is called the Move tool, and the keyboard shortcut is T. Um, and if you do that, you get this four arrow icon, and you can just click and you can drag and you can move the layer contents wherever you want. So I can go ahead and I can position the arm right there, and that's fine. Let's say I decide I want to rotate this layer, or I want to make it bigger or smaller. And that's this tool right here next to it. It's called Transform a Layer. And the hotkey is actually Control T. So if I do that, now I can move the layer around, but I also get these little control handles going around. So if I click and drag on one of these four corners, I can go ahead and stretch, make it thinner, thicker, all that good stuff. If I put my mouse pointer outside of the layer, you'll see that I get the little rotating handles and I can go ahead and rotate it like that and then kind of get it into position. And then if I just come back on the brush tool, there it is. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, over here on the left hand, or sorry, right hand side, you'll see all the layers are there um, and make sure you name your layers. You see that we have an opacity slider for each layer. So if I want to lower the opacity, you just select your layer like you do in other programs and then lower the opacity, so that's good. You have the little eyeballs here uh, so you can hide and make visible your layers, so that's really easy. Um, let's say you want to um, duplicate a layer. So um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can come up here to the layer and you can right mouse click and you'll actually get all the different commands you can do with a layer. And You can see right here it's duplicate layer. There's also a hotkey right here, that's Command J, which um, I believe is the exact same thing in Photoshop. So I just pressed Command J and it just made a layer and it called it Copy of Arm. So now I'll go ahead and I'll call this, um, I'll call this right arm, call this one left arm, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the move tool and I'm going to go ahead and move the right arm off and you can see here it looks like he's getting ready to dance or something. Um, and let's see, now I want to go ahead and flip um, that layer. So. Um, Let's see. I'm actually forgetting how to do that. I think it's under. Hmm. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, I just had a little uh, brain lapse there, and uh, anyway, um, forgot uh, the menu of the tool that I was looking for. So we're looking to flip this layer horizontally. So you're going to come up here to the layer menu. And under the layer menu, you'll see transform. And under transform, you'll see right here, mirror layer horizontally and mirror layer uh, vertically. You'll also see uh, that there's a rotate command here. So you can do certain rotations like 90 degrees to the right or to the left or 180 degrees if you want to be very precise. I'm going to choose mirror layer horizontally. And now I can go ahead and, of course, do this. I can then come back over here and adjust the layer. And I can maybe rotate it a little bit place it so it's a little more natural and then of course there we are um, so that's pretty much it with the basics of layers creating layers renaming them um, you can delete them of course by clicking on the little garbage can over here on the right um, and that's pretty much it so the layers uh, use them they let you like in all other programs let you isolate and control uh, but maintain flexibility uh, in all of your projects and so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to download textures from the web, like say a brick texture, um, and then bring them into a Blender UV unwrapping, um, and how to then apply uh, textures to a Blender UV unwrap, and of course, ultimately to a 3D object. So I'll see you in the next video.